Hey guys, what's up and welcome to iCode. Guys, in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview about terminal in Kali Linux. So, let's get started. So, open up VirtualBox so that you could see all the installed virtual machines on the VirtualBox. So, here it is. So, make sure that the Kali is selected and tap on this run button. So, tap on this run button. So, to start your Kali Linux virtual machine and switch. Okay. So type in the username, username is root r o o t and the password is t o o r, the reverse of root, so t o r sign in and there you go, now we are in Kali Linux. So in this video, let me just give you an overview about terminal in Kali Linux, okay. So terminal is something which you see right with the black icon, terminal, so tap on the terminal button and here you can see the terminal window. So terminal is a place where you can do anything on the operating system or run any program on the operating system by just running the commands that are associated with the action you do. That's it. That is called terminal. You just write some commands and it executes for you. That's it. Well, for this video, let me just start off with a basic command called ls. So let me just type in ls and type enter and there you go. ls is a command which actually lists all the files and the directories in the present directory that you are working in. You got it? And the present directory that we are working in is root directory and that is the home. Okay, let me just show you the root directory. Tap on this place button. Go to home and this is the root directory. And here if you can see we have desktop, documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, templates and videos and this is what we see right here. It listed all the directories that are present in, in this particular root directory that is home okay let me just create a new folder so new folder it uh, let me just name this i code and enter so a new folder is now created now let me just close this let me just type in ls again and see if that listed my new folder i code or not so let me just type in ls and type enter and here you can see that it listed icode. So ls is actually very useful whenever you want to see all the files and the directory that are present in a particular directory that you are working on. So that is about ls command. Now say that you know that there is a command called ls but you don't know what it actually do whenever you type in ls. So for that reason there is a command called man which you can use so that you can get the manual for that particular command. So let me just type in man space and the command that you want to get manual for so man space ls type enter and here you can get the manual for that particular command and here it's ls so ls basically lists directory contents as i already said and it also gives you how to use this particular command and it also gives you a description and it also gives you other option that you can use ls with so basically it's saying that ls with dash a sorry minus a or minus minus all if you use ls with this particular options it does not ignore entries starting with dot okay well if you want to scroll down in manual you just need to type enter that's it so type enter and you will scroll down basically you can see all the options that you can use ls with great now if you want to quit from the manual you just need to type in q that's it and now you are out of manual and well there's also other command which is similar to this particular manual command and that is minus minus help let me just show you that command so type in ls space minus minus help enter and here you can see the help menu for this particular ls command and here you can see all the options that you can use ls with it also shows you the usage for this particular command that is ls and it also gives you the information like what this particular command do great and here you have all the options that you can use ls with okay let me just see this particular option minus l right here so here it says that if you use ls with this particular command it is a long listing format that is it gives you more information about the files and directories in that particular directory okay okay let me just show you in practical so let me just type in ls and the option that we just saw is minus l and there you go you got all the files and the directories in that particular working directory 
as before but and here besides listing all the files and directories you got a lot of information about that particular file or directory like here you got about the permissions on that particular directory and guys we're gonna learn about permissions in the upcoming videos so no need to worry about that right now so let me just leave that for here and here you can actually see the total entities that is 36 and here you can get the information about the last date modified for this particular directory or file that's it and this is how the commands minus minus help and man are really useful so just keep that in mind and ls is basically something like dir command in windows well if you know that and guys in the terminal one of the most useful thing is that the up and down arrow key buttons so basically this up and down arrow key buttons allows you to switch between the commands that you have already used till now okay let me just uh, press the up arrow key button and here you can see the command that we have just used that is ls minus l and let me just see what happens if i type if i press it again aha so there you see so basically the up and down arrow key buttons allows you to switch between the commands that you have already used till now okay so let me just press this down arrow key button so that we should see ls minus l and there you go so this is how this particular up and down arrow key buttons are really handy and i wish everyone use it because it's actually very useful right guys okay so the next basic command that we're gonna be learning is pwd okay let me just type in pwd and type in enter and here you can see the present directory that we are working on okay so for now we are working in this particular root directory that is this particular home this directory and here it will just show you the directory that you are presently working on whenever you type this pwd command okay let me just go to another directory and see if this works so to navigate to another directory we need to use cd command that is change directory so cd and here you need to give the path that you want to navigate to so well the path is i code enter and now we are in this particular i code directory when you type in ls you see nothing because there's actually nothing in the i code directory right here okay let me just show you go to home and here is the i code directory well if you can see right here there's actually nothing so it basically listed nothing and that's obvious so now we are in this particular directory that is i code and when you type in pwd enter and here you can see that we are in this directory this is the directory that we are working that is this particular i code directory and this is how pwd command is useful and the next command which is actually useful is cd give a space and use this double dot so what this does is okay let me just show you in practical so type in enter and now we are back to the root directory that is so basically whenever you use this double dot you just come back now let me just type in pwd and now here you can see that you are back to the root directory so basically this double dot brings you to the previous directory that you are working on now here the previous directory that we were working on is the root directory so that is the reason we have come back to the root directory whenever we typed in cd space double dot so that's about this particular cd double dot and now let me just tell you about an another basic command that is clear so let me just type in clear let me just type in clear enter and there you can see that and now you can see that it cleaned up the whole screen for you and this is how this particular clear command is actually very useful in terminal great and now let me just tell you how this particular tab button on your keyboard is actually very useful in terminal okay so now the present directory that we are working on is the root directory and let me just do ls so that we could see all the files and the directories in this particular directory that we are working on that is the root directory and here you can see that there's a particular directory called i code right well now say that you know a folder in this particular directory that starts with ic okay and you don't know what exactly is the name of the folder you just know that it starts with ic okay and now you want to navigate to that folder so what you need to do is you need to type in cd space so type in ic the information that you know about that particular folder that is you know that it starts with ic so ic and now press tab button 
there you go it just completed the whole name for that folder so basically there's no name which actually starts with ic in this particular folder and that is the reason when you typed ic and did press the tab button it just completed the whole folder name for you and this is how tab is actually useful guys well so if you type in enter you are now in this ico directory when you type in pwd you can see the directory that you are working on and this is how this particular tab is useful so let me just type in clear let me just type in cd space data so that we could move back to root directory that is pwd great so clear and guys these are not penetration testing commands these are just basic commands that you need to get familiar with whenever you actually use terminal and most of the programs that we will be working on it doesn't have this graphical interfaces we need to use this particular command prompt that is this particular terminal so you need to get familiar with terminal and don't worry guys with every video that we'll be moving on you'll be getting more familiar in using this particular terminal so no need to worry at all I'm with you well so that's it guys that's it for this video if you have any doubt in any part of this video just comment down below and i'll respond to you as fast as i can and hope you like the video thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe and guys so soon icode is going to start a new series about android hacking that is basically you're gonna hack using your android phones and that particular series will be started so soon on icode so stay tuned for that so thanks again thanks for watching this video don't forget to subscribe guys and I'll be back with another awesome ethical hacking video. Goodbye till then.